This is me installing my bees. There's nothing you're really going to learn from me doing it other than just watching my fiasco here. I got a lot of practice, um, at least handling the bees, from my mentor Brad. Um, a lot of thanks go out to him. The first couple of images you are seeing, and I'll show them later, is a thermal image of my hive after I installed it. I have a FLIR thermal imaging adapter to my phone, and it takes decent images. Um, I can actually see growth already of the hive without having to open up the hive box. A little story on getting my bees home. Um, I bought them from Bee Weaver in Austin, and I'm in North Dallas, so they delivered them to the design district in Dallas where I went to pick them up. And my mother was in town with a friend of hers, and so I invited them to go with me to pick them up. And I drive a Prius, which does not have a trunk. So we went to pick up the Nuke, which is a small uh, nucleus of bees, and that's that white box you're seeing on the other side of my brood box. And picked up the bees, put them in the back of the Prius, and while the ride home, one accidentally got out and started flying around. My mother was nervous in the back seat. Her friend was in the front seat next to me. And we were getting ready to pull onto the tollway, and President Obama was in town. Secret Service had the tollway shut down due to his travel. The neighborhood was shut down, so I had a snake all the way back home um, to get... Uh, the bees home and then I actually set them side by side the box as it was suggested um, for about two hours um, before I installed them um, here just so that they would help relax a little bit instead of be jostled around so much so no one got hurt a little stress um, me thinking oh what a stupid idea after um, the tollway was shut down and Obama was in town um, having my mother with me. But it all turned out well. No one got hurt. No one got stung. But a decent story, funny enough. Um, I wish I had learned how to position the camera correctly so we could see um, all the bees better. I'm going to learn next time to position it a little bit better so that I can maybe view the bees um, after I... Um, um, get a video of it so I can see. Um, getting all the frames, I'm go doing uh, foundationless frames, um, which will take a little longer, but at the same time, it will, um, m my understanding is it'll make a stronger colony ultimately um, for warding off um, any diseases, br um, foul brood or anything else. So this is my first inspection of it. When I first installed the bees, I did not find my queen. I did find my queen um, on this inspection about three or four days, three days later actually, um, heading out of town and I'm glad I did inspect it then because of the weather that's coming and um, it's been cloudy and rainy. Had a lot of fun videotaping um, the bees. This is a really slow motion. They're really not graceful creatures. They're very smart and um, but they're not graceful. It's funny watching them bounce in and then fall over. And um, it was, I'm out here a lot watching them. Um, I know I'll get bored with it eventually, but it's quite nice. And sorry for my rambling. I just wanted to speak through this, but you're going to get some thermal imaging photos of the inn. I'm going to continue taking thermal imaging photos uh, every morning that I'm in town especially when it's cold, just so that I can see the heat radiating from them. Have a good day. Any questions, please give me a call or please email me or post it. Let me explain a thing or two when you're looking at these thermal imaging. The red dots that you're seeing are the bright dots with the hottest piece. The ones on the side and the front toward the middle are knots and they transfer heat differently than the rest of the box. Also next to the frame feeder, or the, excuse me, entrance feeder, you can see a bright um, white light. That's the front door um, where the bees go in and out, and it'd be like heating our home. 
and having our front door open. That's the heat coming out of the front door. So we can see um, how the thermal imaging actually produces. The first frame, or the first thermal imaging photo, was the first photo I took the morning after installing the bees. And the second one is uh, about six days later, and you can see a little bit where the circle, the colony of bees, has grown, um, made the circle a little bit wider.